Hi guys, I had a couple of requests for tutorials on this cup or this style of cup. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. It's just dabbing on alcohol inks over water slide. Um, and there's no real rhyme or reason to it. So I never, I didn't really know how to go about making a tutorial for it. It's kind of hard to do when there's no real method. So I'm just gonna show you how I go about it. Uh, I started off with a prepped, sanded, spray painted white tumbler. I used clear water slide. And then um, I'm showing you now the alcohol ink colors that I'm gonna be using. Uh, I may not use all of them, I just got them out in preparation. So those are the colors I'm gonna be using. And you wanna make sure that your water slide is completely dry. I set mine in front of a, a space heater for maybe 30 minutes. Um, but if you don't have a space heater, you can just let it sit for an hour, a couple hours. You just wanna make sure it's completely dry before you start. And here I'm showing you some little chunks of magic eraser. I just get mine from the Dollar Tree and cut them up. I've tried makeup sponges and all different kinds of things and I just like the way the alcohol ink applies with the magic eraser. I've got my cup on a little holder and you wanna wear a glove. Normally I don't wear gloves and then I have uh, stains all over my hands for a couple of days. So this time I remembered to put a glove on. Um, I'm just going around, kind of taking a look at the cup, checking out the colors, seeing what I can mix to blend. And then I'm gonna actually go through and take the lids off of everything because I don't wanna have to keep stopping to take the lids off. But all you really wanna do is just try to blend the edges of the water slide. Just try to match that color and blend the edges. With this one, I'm not super concerned about it looking perfect because it is like a horror movie slasher cup and it's supposed to look kind of grungy, dirty, messy. So I'm not super concerned, but I do still wanna blend. But just, you know, take your time, be creative. Just do it however you wanna do it. Like I said, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. It's just, you just go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. You guys will see my process and then I'll come back in at the end and show you basically the finished product.
I just wanted to add that if I were going to add glitter here, I would finish applying the alcohol ink and then just add some Mod Podge in the areas that I wanted the glitter to be, sprinkle it on, let it dry. And then what works best for me is to go through with Mod Podge and seal any of the areas that have alcohol ink. I've tried clear gloss, I've tried triple thick, I've tried Kmar varnish, however it's pronounced. Um, I've tried, I swear, every spray sealer there is out there and they all either make my alcohol inks crack or make them bleed. So what works best for me is to just seal it up with good old Mod Podge. I just do a thin coat and then after that, once everything has dried, I will go ahead and do a coat of epoxy. All right, so this is my, basically my finished product. Um, I still have some cleaning up to do, but like I said before, since it's like a, supposed to look grungy, I'm gonna leave these edges like that. I don't mind them. If I were, if I did wanna fix them, now would be my chance to do that. You can go in and add some more alcohol ink or acrylics or whatever you wanna add on top of this layer of epoxy and then um, epoxy over that again. I did that with my Beetlejuice cup to some areas that I wasn't happy with. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one. I did add my decal. Oh, sorry. I did add my decal. I mod podged over it just because it's like really intricate and has a lot of little slices in it. You can't really see from there, but I just wanted to be safe. Didn't want a lot of bubbles and things like that. So I mod podged over it. I'm going to go clean up my rim. I like to use a Dremel and a flap wheel on my rim. So it will leave like a little tiny bit of a gap like that. And uh, then I'll clean off the alcohol ink up here and add at least one or two more layers of epoxy and she'll be good to go. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to get back to you. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye.